Welcome to Vid Society. In this video, we're going to be looking at a brand new WordPress plugin called Adtivate. Now, this is a plugin you can use on any WordPress website to place ads in different places on your site, but it comes with a ton of options that many of you may be interested in. So there's several products that I have out there, one called WP Affiliate Suite and one called YT Evolution. Both of them are based around WordPress and creating WordPress websites. This here is a website that I created here a while back using YT Evolution. It's basically an autopilot type uh, website that pulls in videos from YouTube and adds content to it. But I like for people to be able to come here, not just to watch videos, but to click on the banner ads so I can increase the conversions of my affiliate offers or anything else that I'm promoting on this website. And so if I come down here and look at one of the most recent videos that was put on here, and if I click on it, it's going to take us inside of the post. Now we can see a banner up here and one here on the right hand side. These are your typical banners that you can add within your widgets, within your header and your sidebar, but I want it to be monetized. I want people to come here and have more opportunities to buy through my website. And so that's what this plugin does. I'm going to show you how it works here in a minute. But you can see up here at the top where it says buy Bitcoin here. This is just a generic image that I created so I could use it with this plugin to see how well it works. And basically after I created it and added it to my site, it now shows above every video on my website. But along with that, I can have this showing at the bottom of the content, but I can also use this plugin to add links automatically within the content of this article and even more banners throughout this content. Now, if you think this plugin may be beneficial to you, I'll put the links for it below this video where you can go check it out and get more details. All right, let's jump to the back end of WordPress and we're going to come down to the activate and you can see here some options we have. Let me just go ahead and click it here. Now this here is going to be your main screen. Once you come here, you do have to enter a license code that you get for it. And then you have some options where you can create ads, you can create groups of ads, and you can also create auto links, which is going to auto link text within your content. You have an ad editor, so you can create your own ad within this plugin. And then you have your settings and your license key. So the few things that I want to go over first is the ads for one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on ads. And you can see one here that I created called Bitcoin. If I click on edit, it's going to show you this image that I added to my website right here. So if I don't want this, I can get rid of it. I can click clear. I can enter an image URL here if I want to, or I can go to select from library and I can pick this back if I want to, to reuse it, select image. And here it is again. Now I have a lot of options with this banner. First of all, you want to give it a name so you know what it is because you can create a lot of different ads and place them in different places on your website and even on different categories. So you can have different banners showing up on different categories of your WordPress site. Now this option here active is going to allow you to set it whether it is active or not. Obviously, if you set it as inactive, it's not going to show up on your website. So you want to make sure active is selected. You can also choose between a banner and a pop-up. You can choose whether you want an image or custom. If you choose custom, it gives you an option to fill this information out here, a background color, a border, and just some text. And then you can use that as well. But I like to just stick with an image. You can change the border color, the width. I will give you a heads up. If you are using some type of a cache plugin, then this is not going to reflect right away when you make changes to this. So what I recommend and what I did is I had to disable my cache plugin while I was editing this to make sure everything was showing up every time I refreshed my page. This is where you're going to add the URL where they will go to once they click on your banner. You can add animations to the banner. So for example, for the entrance animation, we can do something like zoom in and then we can also do an attention animation. So this is ongoing as the banner is on your site. So for example, if we were to do something like swing and let me just go ahead and save this and we'll jump over and I'll show you what this looks like. So we'll jump back over to my website, we'll open this back up and you're going to see how that zoomed in. And now every few seconds, it's going to swing back and forth like that. So very, very cool features to get people's attention using these banner ads. Now, if we jump back in here, uh, there's also an attention animation delay. There's an exit animation. So, uh, when it does exit, you can have it to do certain things. If you want it positioned at the top, the bottom, or random, 
You can also choose it to be sticky. It says a sticky ad will stay on the screen once it has been scrolled past. You can choose a banner height here. You can also do geolocations and you would do this from a settings page, which I'll show you here in a minute, because a lot of, depending on what you're offering, a lot of CPA offers, they will only let you advertise them within certain areas. And that's what this can be used for. And then you have control over the start date, the end date, the time, maximum total clicks, daily clicks, total impressions, and daily impressions of your ads, which gives you total control over these ads, depending on what you do with them. You're going to see here under ads, it says automatically add ads to posts. You want to make sure this is enabled or they will not show up on your post. You can also have a short code override. And if you do this, it says the presence of any short codes and post content will stop activate from automatically inserting ads, but it'll do it from the short codes instead. You can also have a maximum amount of ads that will be automatically inserted into the post content. You can select your ads here, which ads group should be inserted. So you can group your ads into groups. And then from there, you can choose which groups you want to use to show up on the different categories you have on your website. And then you can also automatically add ads to pages by enabling this feature here, which also gives you some more options. And then auto links. So the auto links are the links that are going to show up within the content of your articles which are shown right here. So if you were to go to auto links, you could come here, click on add new, and you could give it a name. You could type the keywords that will be linked within the content. It says the keywords that will be linked to the URL below. Note that letter case is ignored and only whole matches will be considered. So if you want a specific keyword within all of your articles to be linked to a URL, that's where you'd put that keyword. This URL, how many times you want that linked within an article, and then you can also prevent duplicate links and add to your posts and pages right here. Now there's also an ad editor. So if we come over to the ad editor, it's going to load it. You can upload something from your computer. If you want, you can create a blank document based on a specific size, or you can come down here and choose one of the ones that are already pre-made and you can edit it right within the plugin. So I think this is a great plugin if you have a WordPress website and you just want people to notice those ads more to increase or maximize your chances of getting more conversions. Now, if you are considering to pick up this plugin, my link is below this video if you wanna use it. There are four upsells to this product. There's an unlimited version, a white label version, an auto blogger feature, and one of his previous products called Send Trio. Now, all of these upsells are optional and you can find out more details on the website or the link below this video. So that's it for this one, guys. Have a great day.